Hey guys, it's Eric from Pin Pioneer, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about something really special. The long-awaited, highly anticipated watermarking feature. As the name suggests, just hit this button over here, it'll bring up this window, go to load pictures, and you can load up as many photos as you want. For this example, I'm just going to use three, so, like so. Open, it will say load three pictures, and you can customize these however you want. So you have a lot of options here, you can change text, you can uh, position them differently, font, color, border, whatever, right? In this case, the watermark text, which is especially the most important part, uh, is spinnable. So I can put any token in. I can say pinpioneer.com, I don't know, google.com, uh, chicks, whatever, okay? For instance, I can go hit generate preview, and there you go. So I have a watermark. Hit the preview again, it's going to you know, spin, very cool. If I want, I can increase the color, the alpha levels, I can make it more opaque, more transparent, I can change the size, width, positioning, whatever I want, you know, I can put it here, like so, I can change this to something cool, like so, oh, there you go, I can make the border a different color, uh, red or green, for instance, you know, whatever I want, I can do it, very, very cool. So, that's all for this video, uh, pretty much, from here, it's pretty much the same process, so, you can just go ahead and hit the save watermarked feature, uh, save watermarked images button. Pick your location, say desktop. It's going to save them. Okay. If we go back, you can see that these are now watermarked. As you see, you can see they're all um, different as well, which is really cool. And then we can go back to Pin Pioneer um, and we can import them as we usually would. So import pictures, desktop. And these are our latest three photos. One, two, three. Like so, okay, now we have these. Um, I can go ahead and you know, pin them, like them, whatever I want to do, I can do with these now. Um, and it's very, very easy to use. All the same rules apply. Um, if you want to comment here, you can just import them through a text file. So take these URLs, export them, like so. Uh, URLs and titles. Let's go back here, export. Um, and what we can do here is just then putting in, put in a comment. So test description uh, chicks, for instance. Okay. Go back to here, and we can go here, right? So import this time URLs, titles, and pictures, like so. Now we have descriptions. So now we can use the same function, like so, when we hit start pin, and the same rules apply. Just to make sure that's import. URLs titles, export, sorry, import pictures first, then export URLs and titles, then import URLs and titles. And to get the watermarking done, hit the watermarking button over here, and this window manages everything for you in batch. So that's all for now. Thanks so much, and tune in for our next video.